Africa, one of the most diverse continents in the world. Home to thousands of species of animals and some one billion people. The continent has produced a wealth of endurance athletes in bygone years, but there's traditionally been a gulf in cycling. One team looking to change that is MTN Quebecer. Founded in South Africa in 2007, the Pro Continental team currently have 18 African riders on their roster. Douglas Ryder is the team principal. Our theory when we started this team, and, and, and my dream was to develop an African world road cycling champion. You know, if you look at Africa, they've developed the best endurance runners in the world, so why not cyclists? If we can create a hero through one of our African riders, and they could be an, you know, an icon in the sport and go to the Tour de France and go to the Vuelta and win a stage, then the bicycle might become cool across Africa. And if it becomes cool, then people will want more bikes, and then we'll, we'll see that pull through and, and the next future champion. Hailing from Eritrea, MTN's Daniel Tekla Hymenot is a beacon for cycling in Africa. In 2012, he became the first black African to compete on the UCI World Tour when he turned professional with Orica Greenedge. He rode at the Vuelta Espana with the team and will be hoping to do likewise in yellow and black of MTN later this year. It would be hard to do something like we are the first of, uh, rider from Grant or some, something special for me. When it's coming, I feel like it's, it's hard, you know, it's, it's a bit heavy. But yeah, I was really happy to be ride one of the black riders to be in the Pro Tour teams. Daniel's journey from Eritrea to the Pro Tour started at the World Cycling Centre in Switzerland. He spent two years at the complex, where he received bespoke coaching and technical advice. He also had corrective heart surgery during his time in the country. Daniel's experiences riding in Switzerland readied him for the rigours of European competition. For, for me, it's uh, special for me. It's, uh, it's a really change for me because when I come to Eritrea first time, I don't know how it's in Europe cycling, you know. We know, but it's difficult to be compared with our home. So I'm lucky to be riding in the CIA and teaching something. And I found some things, yeah. If I stay at home, it's, it's, it's nothing. Last month, the 25-year-old almost marked his return to Switzerland with a stage victory at the Tour de Suisse. Having spent 150 kilometers off the front on stage four, he was caught just 10 kilometers from the line. But Daniel hinted at his potential. With more race experience, he'll no doubt produce more results. I've seen these guys have got the engines and all we need for them is to get used to the international racing, riding in the bunch, the descending, the you know, 200 riders on three meter wide roads. You can't replicate that in training. That's only, you have to do that physically in the races. Once they get used to that, then there's no reason why those guys won't stand on the top step of the podium in a Grand Tour. Every rider wants to be win <laughs> every stage races, especially all classic races. So everyone is riding for to win or for teammates help. So of course I would like to be win one one day in the big races. And uh, I hope one day be ride also all of the Grand Tour. A four-time African continental champion, Daniel tekla Hibernot is revered for what he's already achieved by his compatriots back home. He's seen as a role model for aspiring cyclists across the continent. With the support of an African-based team, the future is bright for the 25-year-old and for African cycling more generally. If you look at Daniel, who's been in the World Tour or racing in Europe for five years now, he was kind of the pioneer for, for Eritrean cycling and he's done you know more than anybody else has done but he you know and he's and he's still building to to become a really really good rider but he's like a real icon in uh, in Eritrean cycling and there's so many guys that are coming through in 10 years time I'd love to see you know black African riders on the podium in Grand Tours a black African road cycling world champion it's a it's a huge continent and it's it's got massive opportunity and potential it's a great story untold <laughs>